Hello everyone, this is Johnny here. So today I'm going to do a tier list on every Sonic content from 2020 and 2023. It's been a lot of big years for Sonic. And I'm here with Tony Talk. Hello! So he, he's going to do the tier list with me and with every Sonic content as theirs. Alright, bye, bye, bye. so now let's begin with Sonic Movie 1. What yeah. are your thoughts? I'd say Sonic Movie 1 changed the franchise, the franchise a lot. So I would say it, go, it should go in S or between A. Since it, it helps Sonic a lot go, go in, on the top. So, I think that it should go in A. The main reason being that I get it, it made a major impact for the franchise, right? But the, as a movie on its own, the only thing carrying it is really just Sonic's character throughout the movie. But overall, the movie is pretty generic, so I, it made an impact, but the movie is okay. So I think putting it yeah, in A tier will actually work. And Jim Carrey carried it as well. Yes, sirs. <laughs> So yeah, so, so the movie is okay, but but it helps Sonic a lot, so it, 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 it's a good balance. It's a good balance for sure, for sure, for sure. So yeah. now, uh, what came afterwards? Nothing actually. That was only for twenty twenty. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a Bro. nice start. <laughs> All right, bet. So now we time skip to twenty twenty one. So in twenty twenty one, there was Sonic Central, the first one. This was easily meant. The biggest thing yeah, to ever the, the, occur. This is easily on S tier. Very big announcements. <laughs> I can't. I still right. remember the day I reacted to the Central and Sonic Cause Ultimate got released. Best I moment agree. of my entire life, man. I, I absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. S tier. S tier for sure. S tier for sure. Everyone's going crazy. Yeah. And plus the whole like Sonic Frontiers release, Origins, pretty mediocre re announcement, but still it got announced. And more stuff as well. It was insane. We had a lot of stuff yeah. that that central. I, I, easily the best thing to happen in those 2020s. Easily. I agree. Pretty much the thing of the direct of Sonic. Yes, sir. <laughs> exactly, man. Exactly, bro. Yeah. All right, next. And now Sonic Calls Ultimate came out. Hey. All right. No question asked. <laughs> Where are we on to the yeah, next I one? <laughs> Telling you, bro, I'm the biggest Sonic Colors Ultimate fanboy to ever exist in the planet, bro. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> and literally, okay, let's think about it. Right? Let's think about it. A few minutes later. But again, I have to be honest. You know what? I have to be an yeah, honest that, guy. I guess that's good balance. Oh well. I find it kind of underrated, but <laughs> it's not perfect. Man. It's not perfect, man. That's just upsetting at this point, dude. I hate that. I hate yeah. that. All right, next. So the next and is up, I think, is the symphony. Yeah, the symphony was the last one in 2021. Yep. We have to put an S plus. That was amazing. That was <laughs> really good. I kid you not, man. Props to Sam and everyone else on the team, dude. That was really yeah. Good. The editing, the music, and everything was just amazing. Easily, bro. I'm um, telling you. I think this one, the first one in 2021, beat every other symphony afterwards, like easily. True. Oh man, bro, that, that was awesome, dude. All right, next. Okay, next in 2022 was Sonic Movie 2. We started in April, and I found it quite I mean, quite great actually, better than the first one, and improved on it. And it has so many great scenes, even though the wedding scenes exist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was yeah, like everyone, like everyone says. <laughs> everyone says this, man. I don't think it's that bad to be honest. It was just a little joke scene. I don't think it should be taken that seriously. But to be honest, man. They're humans. This is a Sonic movie. Kick the humans out. Remove the humans at this yeah. point, dude. So I think what well, Super Sonic, Super Sonic was amazing as well. That was a surprise. Yeah. I was not expecting yeah. them to throw Sonic, Super Sonic, in this early into the series. Like that was amazing. All right, so I think <laughs> I think to uh, what's it called to keep this more fair and balanced. I'm gonna move this here and move this to B. Because, again, it was so much better than Sonic Movie 1. And I want to make sure yeah. that it's above it. But, again, it's not S tier. It's not S tier for sure. Uh, yeah, no, not that close on S tier. But it can be so close. So far, yeah, so close. Yeah, exactly. That's how it is. Yep, 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 yep. All right, all right, all right. Sonic Movie 3 is going to improve on it. Sonic Movie 3 is, of course, going to improve on it. Easily. Yeah. All right. What's next? N next was Sonic Origins. And that was pretty okay, I guess. Just... The idea for it is pretty cool. It has so many new things that that was pretty great. 
But it could have done better. I think because it's the base game and not the plus edition where they added like Knuckles to Sonic CD and Amy, when they clearly teased it over here, um, I think it should it shouldn't go that high to be honest. And plus, it wasn't all that impressive. It was just three games with HD. I don't think it's yeah. that worthy of it. I feel like because you, you gotta understand, right? Us fans, we got things like Sonic uh, 1 Forever, Sonic 2 Revisited, and Sonic 3 Air. And Sonic yeah. Origins, no game in that collection comes close to those projects easily. Yeah, like everyone says, they've done better. They have done better for sure. So, okay, what rank, what rank do you think it should go to? For what it is, I'd say between good and alright. I'm gonna uh, honestly put it alright, to be honest. Uh, I'm gonna put it in... Okay, like it's a good idea, but not here, not here, not here, not here. That's not funny. Yeah, all right. Like I said, okay, it's okay, cause I think plus came in and improved on something, so we'll put it higher there later. Yeah, even though it should have been uh, there to begin with. I know. Yeah. <laughs> My <laughs> man, that's how Sega works, bro. That's literally how this team works, dog. At this point, so all right, we're yeah. done with that. Next one. Next one is Sonic Frontiers, the big one. The GOAT, the homie, yes. <laughs> literally the amazing, okay? Again, state your opinion the on goat. the game. State your opinion <laughs> on the game. For what it is, it's pretty good. Uh, no, I think great, because the open zone was a good idea, I think. Because it's a lot more different than than the boost gameplay. Even though it has boost, it's open world. So it has so much freedom, the, the challenges are fun, even if they're easy. I feel like I feel like the difficulty doesn't matter as long as it's fun. The story is different as well. It's very good. So I think the reason why I think why I put it just so high on the list, of course it has problems. I mean, let's be honest here. What Sonic game except for Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog does not have any problems? But I feel like the thing is that when I was playing the game personally for the first time on my own. Um, I never had the same feeling playing this game since Unleashed when I was like eight years old or something. So to have that feeling from all those years ago when I was a kid to come back, that automatically makes it a very high on the list. So yes, I do think amazing. It fits amazing in my opinion. Yeah, I can see your point. It's really game changing. It really was. <laughs> For Sonic Friends, it was game changing. It was 100%, 100%. So it's between outstanding and amazing, it's good balance. 100%, 100%. So, alright, next project. Next, so editing off with Sonic Prime. And I found it to be pretty <laughs> good for it at least. But it's all, okay, yeah, at the end of the day. Do I have to put it higher than pure bad? Do I have to? Well, it's not that bad. Um, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Number, okay, how about this? Let's, let's say your opinion on why it's okay of a show, I guess. Well, I think the best part of it is the animation. It's really bouncy and has a lot of expression. The story, for what it is, um, it could have done more, but, it, but it's pretty good for what it is, I think, like the others. Okay, how about, how about I tell my opinion now? Because you need to understand something, alright? I was already upset with sonic shows okay i do not like sonic x i do not like sonic boom i don't like oh, any okay. of the older you know the adventure sonic the hedgehogs sonic wow. saturday am <laughs> i hated every single sonic tv show to date okay then netflix right. comes up it was like hey we're gonna release sonic prime i was like cool this is probably gonna change how sonic is in a tv show right i thought it was gonna go for more i guess mature take on sonic yeah but in the end i ended up hating sonic so much <laughs> the only reason oh. i finished it is just so i can have a conversation with friends that's the only reason why i finished the show but i hate it so much like i hate how childish everything feels i get it sonic is a franchise for kids i cannot blame them for that it's out of their i guess capacity but you need to understand, this is Wild Brain, okay? They cannot handle good TV shows, to be honest. First they did Lego yeah, Ninjago, enough. now okay. they're doing this. I just hate the company so much. The animation is good. 
that's the only reason why I think it's between this and this. I think what we should do is put it between all right and meh. Or good. I think it's more fair all right, to be honest. So between these three, what's your final decision? I'd say it's all right. All right. All right. Anything else that happened? So the last one is actually Sonic Space Simulator. All right. Before Smoke Materials. So, okay. Say your opinion. What do you um, think? Well, it's an... It's okay. It's just it's another like if, um, uh, how do you say grindy game on Roblox for, for Sonic. <laughs> so that's pretty much what it is. <laughs> no, because I kind of remember myself being addicted to it during twenty twenty two. I was pretty addicted to this game, but then I understood that um, it's the same thing over and over again, every yeah. single week, just to gain one character. Where. I think for <laughs> yeah, two like months straight, I was just grinding Sonic Speed Simulator. But honestly speaking, let's be real here, it was not that good. It wasn't anything special. It was like, okay, whatever, you know? Baby, oh, Amber Alert. Amber <laughs> Alert, like a kid damn oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Overall, okay. I think that this is just a, an okay game. It's not too special. It's just a game that exists at this point right because yeah. again it was worlds were small nothing that impressive it was just we a very weird game but i don't like it too much it can be addicting but just this grindy yeah grindy but addicting so what rank do you suggest sir i'll say um all right as well all right as well all right yeah i uh, i do think i do think i do think so i do think so all right, uh, all right that that's it for 2022 all right bet bet, bet. let's go and now for 2023, it was I saw Nicole's calls Ultimate on Steam. Um, can I please? <laughs> can I please? I'm begging yeah, you, totally. bro. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that should be it. Just great, I guess. Great, great. fine, fine. Yeah. It's better than the Epic Games version. Epic, look, just because. Look, you know why it's higher? Because it's better than Epic Games. That's it. Steam yeah. is better than yeah. Epic Games. That's it. That's all. That's all we're gonna say. Next topic. <laughs> yeah, next topic is Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Now that's an amazing S tier plus 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 plus. I I kid you Best, not. Uh, no, say your opinion. Say your opinion. Say your opinion. Best April Fool's gift ever. <laughs> a prank. If it, even if it's a prank. If I, bro, you have <laughs> no idea how much I don't like uh, novel games right that much, but when I played this game. That whoever that the team that made this game cooked, okay? I'm gonna be very yeah, real with you. It was the most much. charming, most friendly game I've ever played. I guess if you want to say it like that, it's really friendly, <laughs> uh, you know? Uh, I know this says murder, but it was more like a birthday party, to be honest, a secret birthday party. So I can't even get mad, get mad at the title, to be honest. Like, it's so good. I loved everything yep. about it, the characters, how they were handled, dialogue, the new characters that just never showed up again for some reason, but okay, I guess it is what it is at that point. Um, I agreed. And of course, and the queen of it all, the, the, the prized possession of the game, the wife's conduct, the, the conductor's wife. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, I was gonna say Blaze, but you're right. <laughs> yeah. The conductor's yeah, wife, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. All right, next thing. Next thing, this the Sonic Frontiers updates, one to three. Okay, this is and a bit tough to um, really rank here from all three. All right, I guess let's start with you. I guess let's start. What do you think about it? Overall, I think it's really good for what it, for how much they added for free. Like, no, it's a rare thing for things to be free nowadays, <laughs> and they added so much content. Yep. So many life, uh, like new, new things and improvements. Yep. And man, update three was pretty insane. I think. Uh, new... I think what really so update one, if we think about it, right? In my opinion, I guess I'll I'll do my turn now. Um, update one was pretty good. They did fix some things and added some, you know, those music, the jukebox, photo mode, and whatnot. Pretty small. Update 2 was a big one because of the whole spin dash and everything, the spin dash, the yeah. new platform with actions, Coco's. So basically, update 1, then update 2, and then update 3. Basically, how yes. it is. Update 3 is pretty S tier. Uh, for some reason, okay, I'm the only guy 
that enjoy the towers a lot. Um, no, I enjoy that as well. It's it, it's not that hard. To be honest, even if you, even if it's hard, yeah, you, you gotta get good. I guess so because uh, I think the major factor for me liking those towers so much is two things. Number one, difficulty in a Sonic game doesn't exist most of the time, right? Normally, it's just boost yeah, to win. Much. Another thing is that I was playing so much hardcore games before update 3 that when I was struggling to get the first tower done, I was enjoying every moment of it. I think that's also a major factor where it's from experience of other games. Well, that's why I love update 3 so much. But again, it has its flaws. That's why it's not yeah. S plus because there are problems in the game like Knuckles in the beginning or, you know, uh, the, the some, sometimes the tower is not being fair or those very wacky cyberspace stages that that was weird okay you can't even lie that yeah. was kind of strange stages someone was a different day there seriously man so someone was cooking but damn they cooked way too much man in the oven for that. Yeah. so i think that's why it's s tier but not you know s plus like the base game yeah, that, that's right. Alright, next one. We're, we're going pretty good. Let's go. Next one is Sonic Origins Plus. Origins um, Plus. Okay, I think just, the maximum we can do is just say it's good because it adds more to yeah, this. I, guess. I think, um, let's see. Again, take your opinion. What do you think it added? What do you like about it? What it added? You know, tell us about it. Well, I'd say the only th the good thing about it is Amy and Knuckles and, and CD, but, <laughs> but it has more stuff than the original technically so yeah it's, i think it's good i think it, i think <laughs> no, I, th I think honestly speaking let's be real here for a second here okay apart from amy and knuckles they added the game gear games right but i don't know how they screwed up the emulation so bad that there were audio glitches in emulation whereas you can yeah. download an emulator literally online and it does 10 times better and what makes it even worse, they took the Game Gear games, not the Master System versions, which had much more, you know, a much wider view of things, you know? So that's why it wasn't all that impressive. It's just better than the base game because it has more in the end. That's basically what it is. Yeah, that's true. P pretty much the, what everyone will see. <laughs> so, alright. Now, what's next? Next is Sonic Prime Season 2. Your and opinions? I'd say it was a, lot, a bit better than the season one. It was just but not much a difference between the Sonic characterization. But the fighting was pretty good as a like, like the animation was even more better, I think. I think I think that's what it's generally speaking, I think season two made me enjoy Sonic Prime more. I'm gonna be real with you. Uh because there's a few factors, right? Number one was that I think like I got used to Prime Sonic at this point, where he's a bit of a kid. It does yeah. think that he didn't grow all that much, but I guess it is what it is. You know, they they, they didn't do that. But number two is that number number two is that Sonic Shadow Shadow played a crucial role in that season, and honestly speaking, I feel like the other supporting cast were done justice in those in season two. I think they did a really good yeah. job handling the characters that were already established in season one into season two i think that transition was really well done Sh shadow carried this season easily well. oh easily easily no. that's why it's higher than season one dude that's the only reason yeah. why all right next and right, next is sonic space Simulator reborn what and what are you I'm, I'm actually interested now what is your thoughts on this one i just want to hear it well, i feel like that's how the game should have been in the first place like it has more stuff, like boss fights and more collectibles, but it's still grindy, very grindy. Oh. But it has, it has nice stuff, I think. So I just, I say it's good. Oh, okay, I'm gonna well. be real with you. Um, okay, so there are a few things in Reborn that I think solidified it as a very solid game overall, okay? Because again, if you're of a certain genre, you're gonna follow those rules of the genre, right? If you're a grindy platformer, you're gonna obviously follow the rules of grindy simulator. It's a simulator, right? You're literally yeah. simulating how it feels to be Sonic, right? So 
I think with things like the mission system and the amount of things that you're able to do in those worlds, how they revamped previous worlds to be bigger and better. Um, there are things like, you know, the, the power system in the game, Supersonic is in the game, Shadow was finally added it after so damn long. I, Blaze Silver as well. Yeah, Blaze that's Silver 2, yep, that's for sure. I think they really, I think this is when they took the game very seriously and not just, oh, okay, another simulator, right? There yeah. was some level of uniqueness in Speed Simulator, which is why I think it should go in great, but not above it. I think it's not awesome or anything, it's just great. You know, it's a great time to play the game. Yeah, I see your point. It's fair enough. Yeah. Alright, next. Next, Lego Sonic. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the, the iconic one, yeah. The, Yo, okay. The Sonic thing ever. If I was honestly speaking, I, I would put it in S tier. It, it, it was a solid, I think the sets were really fun to make. Uh, yeah, it's actually, uh, actually, yeah, one of those is really fun. Did the Tornado. The Tornado one? Oh, that's actually, it was yeah. a good one. It was a hell of a good one. Alright, next. And the animation, the, yeah? the, the short of, I mean, I think, control of the, the guy. It was just hilarious. Yeah, I think the ads really <laughs> carried um, this whole set because, dude, number one, they uh, they brought the voice actors in to voice the characters, and then they added a lot of comedy to it, a lot of personalization, which bro, and, yeah, what's that? Egg, Eggman rapping. <laughs> Eggman rapping, dude. Again, you don't see these in tra and you don't see these things these days. You know, it's very yeah. hard to see it. But then they came up, were like, "Hey, let's have make something fun out of it." I I'm impressed. S tier, just saying, it was really good. Actually, you know what? Next Screw up. it. It's over here. That's it. it, was, it was, <laughs> nothing wrong with it, man. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend it, it should go there. Yes. All right. Next. What's happening? Next guys? up, the Sonic uh, figures. Jack specific. Oh, dude. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This one was disappointing for me. Yeah. Uh, I, maybe I can see why. I think now they 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 add more better figures now because now before there's Sonic and Sonic figures. Now it's more balanced. Now it has Tails, Knuckles, Amy. Rouge, even Blaze, the, her first figure ever since how many years? <laughs> like that. So I think, and yeah. for, for what they are in the figures, it's pretty great actually, but a bit good as well. But what do you think? I think I'm I, I, I honestly speaking cannot have an opinion because I do not I'm not, I'm not a big figures fan. I'm more of a Lego fan than a figures fan. So I have I'm I'm not gonna have any opinion on this one. I guess <laughs> no opinion on here. So I guess you get to pick now. You get to do the honors of what gets to go, where it gets to go. I'd say in good. Good. All right. We'll yeah. finalize it there. All right. Next, what came afterwards? So next, the Sonic fan games and hacks. And we have to put that S plus tier. It's just amazing what Sonic Trans can do. It's always like impressive. So many, so many projects and different things that they do. Like, like wow, it's <laughs> impressive. <laughs> no, I feel, I feel like the, the thing with it is that um, they don't care about your quality of the game or quality of the hack. You know, if it's a hack, people, people respect you, man, in, the, in this community space, you know, in these contests. And Sage yeah. events, they respect you for what you made, and that will always be an S plus tier level thing in my heart, honestly. Agreed. All right, next. Next up, Sonic IDW Comics. This is a tough. And one. This is a very tough one to judge, dude. For me, I find it pretty good because there's so many comics right now. They don't they don't stop, and what they have in it, the, the stories are really great. Even though they're not the same level as the. Um, the, uh, the, the virus? Yeah, the virus. Uh, I forgot. The metal virus. The metal virus. Yeah, metal virus, which was amazing. The, the stories right now are pretty good, I think. It's pretty cute uh, as well. <laughs> I, think, I think the main problem is that when they changed writers after the uh, metal virus arc, there was a little shift in the way the tone that they wanted to set. I feel like they were, they were a bit confused after the metal virus arc of what tone they want to set because sometimes sonic is the most forgiving guy you've ever seen next minute he's like the most brutal guy like he just doesn't care so i think they're a little bit confused but overall it's not bad okay it's a fun read nothing too bad about it but 
there are just some characters in this thing like Shadow who are done so dirty in these comics. I I don't know. I don't know if I should put it in yeah, that's true. A or B. I think we should settle it. A or B. Because Metal's Virus Saga was amazing. But then it, later on it kind of teetered off. So uh, A or B. What do you want to pick? It's a tough one. Uh, I would say it's a good A. A good A. I agree. 100% I agree with it. Alrighty. Second to last project, Sonic Superstars. And... Wow. I f <laughs> this is a, It's kind of a big deal, actually. I think because... Back, back to the classics, to the Sonic. And... I, I find it pretty great. Like, a great game. Just because it's not a modern game, it's not good. It's, it doesn't mean it's bad. <laughs> I think okay. So I think I think for me, uh, this is actually what got me into the classic Sonic games. Uh, Same for me, actually. Because I never, I never liked the classic games. I think I did. A, I think during my playthrough of the um, Sonic Origins games on my last channel, I did not enjoy the classic games all that much. But then when I played this, I think it really made me understand what classic Sonic is about. You know. Um, yeah. It's kind of, a kind of this game is kind of an in between of like Sonic Three and Sonic One to be honest with you. It's a mixture of both, and it's really well put. I, I like the game. I think I think it's a pretty I think it's a pretty fun game, dude. I think it's a pretty fun. Game. I agree. People hate on, hate on this game too much. I agree. Hundred oh hundred percent hundred percent. So I it's think so fun. it's a great game. I agree. With that. It's a great I game. All right, last project. Well, screw this. Uh, last project. <laughs> Very last thing for now. For yeah, for now, for the now. final one. Yep. Sonic Dream Team for Apple devices, not on PC. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> this was pretty big as well. Even though it's a mobile game, it's a full, fully 3D game as well. Made by Sega Highlight. I, f I find it pretty impressive for what it is. I mean, personally, a phone game can survive with this game as well. It's so open, the, the levels, and the gameplay is pretty fun as well. What do you think? Okay, so honestly, I play the game, the full thing, 100%ed it on the iPad, and I cannot find a single bad thing about this game, to be honest with you. It's very simple, straightforward, yeah. and a fun time, you know? I cannot find a single bad thing about this game, at all. Alright. So, either it's gonna be in the... this? This? Like, in between these two. I think I was saying is... It would be good, but for, for what it is for a phone game, I think it's pretty amazing. I it's think. amazing, dude. I think it's one of the best phone games I've played overall. Like, it's really, really fun. I think, a Sonic phone game. Exactly. Also, for people who own the Apple subscription, I think this is a great, great incentive to get the Apple arcade. You can have one more free as well. Exactly. So I think it's accessible. I think the reason why I'm not going to put it in S Plus is because it's not available everywhere. The accessibility is pretty yeah. limited, but the game itself is amazing. So outstanding, I think, works the best. I, I think I, I, I agree with you. All right, that's it. That's the whole tier list done. This is this for great reviews for Sonic. It was a great ending as well. 100%, dude. I'm, I'm excited, you know, for 2024 and beyond. I'm excited. We're hyping Sonic, Sonic Movie 3. Yes, sir. And we will for sure talk about that on our own channels, I guess, when it comes out. Yes. All right, thank you for joining me, Tiny. Thank you. And no problem, was, no problem. It was a fun time. Thank was... you. All right, thank you for having me, dude. I really appreciate it. Thank no you. No problem. Thank you. All thank right. you for joining. Have a good day.